focus on how is it that we can determine and predict the changes in transformations based on their function notation. So the first thing that we need to focus is that every time that we see f of x, we are referring to the actual function. So in my first two examples, I have f of x. And in the first place, I am adding a number. So every time I add a number, my function is going to be translated up, meaning it will move up. But if instead of adding a number, I'm subtracting a number, then by subtracting a number, my line or function will be translating down or moving down. The next change that we have is going to be a translation up left and right. How does that happen? Well, we are still adding and subtracting, but then instead of adding and subtracting to the whole function, what we are doing is only adding inside or subtracting inside of the parentheses, meaning only adding to the x or subtracting to the x. When that happens, if I add to the x, that's how I get my translation to the left or moving to the left. If I am subtracting to the x, I will be translating right or moving to the right. The next transformation has to do with negative signs. First, a negative multiplying the whole function, then the negative multiplying only the x in the function or inside of the parentheses. If the x is multiplying the whole function, you will get a reflection over the x-axis. Versus if the negative is only multiplying the x or inside of the parentheses, you will get a reflection over the y-axis. The next part, we need to pay close attention not only to what it's doing. So here I have a number multiplying my whole function and then a number multiplying only my x. When this happens, we don't only have to pay attention if it's multiplying to the whole function or only the x or inside of the parentheses. I have to pay attention what kind of number it is. So first, if my number that is multiplying the whole function, it's a number greater than 1, 10, 5, 7, etc., you will get a vertical stretch, meaning you're going to pull your function or your line up and down. It's like you stretch it up and down. But if your number that is multiplying, it's a number between 0 and 1, meaning 0.5, one quarter, etc., etc., then what you will get will be a vertical compression, meaning instead of stre stretching up and down, you will be pushing up and down towards the center, like crushing it from up and down or up and below. Then, if we're multiplying inside of the parentheses, we'll get horizontal changes. But for me to know what kind of horizontal change, I need to pay attention to the actual number, meaning. If the number that is only multiplying the x or inside of the parentheses is bigger than 1, I will get a horizontal compression. What does that mean? That it's like I'm pushing to, towards the center from the left and the right, making everything squish in. But then if my line, it's, if my number is between 0 and 1, I will get a horizontal stretch. So that would be like me pulling left and right to make everything stretch out left and and right. So here we have all of our transformations up here and here I have the first thing. So I don't even need to know what my equation is. All that I know is that theta negative is multiplying my whole function. Well, I know that a negative multiplying my whole function looks like this. So what do I have? Oh, what is going to happen to this line? It'll be a reflection. over the x axis. That's simple. Let's look at more examples. So here I have all my transformations again, and here I have my problem. So what do I notice? Well, first of all, to my whole function, they added 2 at the end. So they added to the whole thing. So I will notice that then, Adding to the whole thing looks like this. So what is the result of me doing that? This will be a translation up. 
And now we can even say that it's going to move up how much? It's going to be a translation up by 2. So I wanted to put this example right here, right next to this example right here. Now, are they adding 2 on both sides? Yes. Here they're adding to the whole function. But here they're adding only to the x value, only to the x variable. Well, that will change things because now if I look, I'm only adding to the x. So that means that I'm only adding inside of the parentheses, if you want to see it that way. That's a different move. That is a translation to the left. So translation to the left by 2. Why 2? Because like I said, we have an addition of 2. Okay, let's look at these examples right here, which these ones are a little more complicated. Why? Because we have several things happening. So we're going to go one by one. First, I see this. That's a negative multiplying the whole thing. Not inside of the parentheses, but outside. So it must multiply the whole function. So what does that mean? It means to me now that I need to focus first in this negative. So when I have a negative outside, this is a reflection over the x-axis. So the first thing that is going to happen here is that I'm going to have a reflection over x. We can just simplify it that way. Now, that is only one of the transformations. Now, what happens next? Well, I notice that I'm subtracting only to the x value or subtracting only inside of the parentheses. So I look up here. When I subtract inside of the parentheses, that means that we have a translation to the right. So the next thing is it is translated... How much? 5 to the right. So I'm getting more specific because now I can see how much due to the number is going to move. Okay, we still have one more transformation to go. And that is this minus 7. So what is that minus 7? Is subtracting to the whole function. So right here, that means what is going to happen when I subtract to the whole function? Oh, that means translated down, the line will move down. So the last thing will be end translated seven, because we know how much it is, down. Okay. The same way we're going to look at our next problem right here and also our last one. So we have three things happening. This We have a negative multiplying here, subtraction here, addition here. So one more time, we're going to go step by step. So first, we're going to start with this negative. And that negative is only multiplying the x value. So up here, I can see it. Oh. Multipli uh, multiplying only the x value. What does that mean? This is a reflection over the y-axis. So that is the first thing happening. Reflected over y. That's the first thing that is going to happen. Then after that, what do we have? Okay, we have a subtraction inside of the parentheses, a subtraction only for the x, only for the x. So when I go up here and I see, oh, again, subtraction to, to uh, only the x, that's a translation, right? So what's going to happen is going to be translated how much? 3 to the right. And at last, our last transformation is going to be this right here. So I'm adding to the whole function. And here I'm adding to the whole function. That's a translation up. So the last thing that is going to happen 
and translated for up. Let's do the last two problems. So here I have a different situation <clears throat> because we're going to be looking at only at signs but also at numbers. So let me show you. First of all, we have a negative right here. That's all that we're focusing. So I say when I have a negative outside that is multiplying my whole function, it looks like this, a negative outside. So this is going to be a reflection over the x-axis. So reflection, reflected. over x and then I will focus on my number so first in the sign then in the actual number so now for my number I have a 3 which okay a number that multiplies the whole function okay is gonna be this one right here but I need to be aware is the number that I have bigger than 1 or between 0 and 1? So the number 3 is actually bigger than 1. So what we have is a vertical stretch. So this will be stretch vertically. Okay. Now we're going to pay attention to our second one. And again, I have a number multiplying my whole function, which, oh yeah, a number multiplying my whole function. What number is that? It's one half. Well, if that is one half, then this is no longer going to be a vertical stretch because now the number is between zero and one. This will be a vertical compression. So this is compressed. Vertically. That's the first thing that we notice. Then we have this right here, which is uh, adding, but only to the x value, or if we want to say adding inside of the parentheses only. So what is that going to do? I have a plus 3, which looks just like when I add right here inside of the parentheses. This means that there is a translation to the left. So we're going to say and translate it. Three to the left. I really hope this helps a lot. Thank you.